We're baking some mind-bending material. And now, make some noise for your amazing host. What's up, Sandals Church kids? My name is Joelle, and I'm your online host. And today we're in a series called Press Start, where we're learning how to change our hearts so our life reflects Jesus's. Now, before we get started, we're gonna watch a fun pre-show video together, sing some songs in a time of worship together, and then finally dive into the Bible story. All right, guys, let's get going. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Mr. Coyote. And I'm Mrs. Coyote. And we hope that you guys had a great week. We hope that you did some fun stuff. Maybe you had a chance to get outside or do something with your friends or maybe jump on a Zoom call or something like that. And I wanna share one of the really cool things that we got to do this whole week. So for the past seven days, Mrs. Coyote and I got to visit my sister in Texas. Mm -hmm. Our son, this was his very first time on a plane. So it was a really fun week. I hope that you guys had a great week too. And Mrs. Coyote, can we jump into our silly question right now? Absolutely. I want you guys to pay close attention. It might be a would you rather or just some type of question. I want you guys to answer the question too. And our question of the day is this. It's a would you rather. So you've got okay. two options. Two Let's options. 50-50. You got to choose one. Would you rather have breakfast, delish, in a hot air balloon or uh, yeah. dinner in a castle? So Ooh. breakfast in a hot air balloon or dinner in a castle. Here's the one word that threw me off. Okay. Breakfast. Oh. I'm not a huge breakfast person. Mm. If I were to choose my two favorite meals, I would choose lunch and dinner. Not at the same time, <laughs> in, in a proportionate amount of time. And thinking about eating dinner mm -hmm. in a castle, what type of stories would there be? What type yeah. of cool like swords and shields and maybe knight's armor would there be? You know what I would do? I would just like yell things out and see how the <laughs> echo would be. I'd be like, hello! Are you alone in this scenario? Yeah. Okay. I'm by myself and That's it's great. a 75 foot long table <laughs> that is filled to the brim with meats and cheeses uh, and fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Delicious. And I get to eat like a king. What do you choose? Okay, so I am gonna go with breakfast in a hot air balloon and That's I'll still tell a good you one. why. One of the main the main thing used to help the hot air balloon flow is balloon? flame. Oh, flame. <laughs> hot flame. I can go on this hot air balloon ride. I have flame right above me. I can cook my entire meal on the basket. So literally whatever I'm feeling, I just bring an ice chest filled with all these products and I lift it up, heat it, cook it, get that bacon to a delicious crisp. Could you and cook I've a pop tart? Got... Yeah. Oh. Could you cook a waffle? Waffle, pop tart. Could you cook a cereal? I don't think you'd want to, but okay. like but the you possibility could. is the there. The possibilities of cooking a cereal so, are possible. Yeah, so hot breakfast the entire ride. So hot air balloon, breakfast. Those are good. What did you guys choose? Hot air balloon or dinner in a castle? Well, moving on guys, like I said, we have been receiving so much mail from you guys and we wanna open up some more of your mail in our segment called Mail Time. So Mrs. Coyote, can you yes. take a look at what we have today? Let's Hopefully see. it's a challenge or something drawing or some questions. All right. Ooh, so I recognize have... the name on this letter. I think that we've received a letter from Melanie yes, before. Yes, we have. Melanie is in California. Oh, she did She's a little sticker of Baby Yoda. Love it. So let's see. Keep that sticker Keep intact. Stickered. Yep, okay. We've got a letter. Oh. There's more stuff what than is it? just what is the it? letter. Oh, yeah! Another sticker. We've okay. got, you're the expert. This is from The Mandalorian. Yes. It is The Mandalorian short. They call him Mando. And we have Baby Yoda. <laughs> but here's the thing. It is in the style of Calvin and Hobbes. I love Calvin and Hobbes. If you guys don't know who that is, it's a comic strip that ran for 10 years by the artist Bill Watterson. You have to check it out. It's very funny. And so this is Calvin, who's a little boy. And this is Hobbes, who's actually a tiger but it is done in the Mandalorian style. So good, and love what did it. Melanie say? Okay, so we've got a letter right here, oh. Yes, I love when First she does lap. artwork. We've got artwork. We love receiving your artwork and we love sending you artwork Absolutely. too. Absolutely, so, yeah. okay, here's what it says. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Coyote, hi guys, it's Melanie here and I just wanted to say thank you for sending me mail. So she got our yeah. mail that we sent to her, good, yep. good. I love the stickers. 
I was wondering if you guys could do a challenge where one of you has to draw something blindfolded and the other person has to guess what they are drawing. Thanks, your fan, Melanie. All right. So I think that we should do it. Us. Okay. Right? You guys follow along. Tell me if you can get it. Here we go. And start guessing. Okay. Um, it's a rock tomb. Um, it's a speaker. Uh, I see the ears and eyes. Are you drawing Baby Yoda? It is Baby Yoda. <laughs> That's impressive. For eyes closed, that's better than I could have done with my eyes open. It kind of so. looks like maybe like a really buff ghost <laughs> with his arms out going, yay! <laughs> he looks like someone just left on a hot air balloon with breakfast and he didn't get to go. Okay. That's what it looks like. All right, your turn. Kay. Close your eyes. You guys can follow along. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna do it in one. It's right there. In one, it's a rainbow. It is a falcon. It's a condor. It is a, sh it's a whale. You drew a whale. It's a, it's a shark. It's a hammerhead shark. It's a dolphin. <laughs> it's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's its blowhole. Yes. That's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. I totally knew that it was a sea creature. 30 seconds, here we go. No, don't close your eyes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, it says it's a land, it's water, it's a boat in the water. It's a person on the boat. It's George Washington crossing the Delaware. It is, it's George Washington <laughs> crossing the Delaware. How did oh you know? Oh my goodness. Uh, this is my go-to. My, my go-to joke is always George Washington crossing the Delaware. Okay, right, this I'm is your last again. chance. I guess we got all of these. 30 seconds Kay. and go. It is Pop-Tarts. It is a door. It is a TV. Keep guessing, guys. It is um, the Mona Lisa. Yeah. Oh, I you went the art on, route too. I just the theme of art. You know what though? I don't see the smile that they usually attribute to Mona Lisa. Melanie, that was a really fun challenge. If you guys want to send us challenges, definitely do that. Oh. And Melanie, since we have your address, we have a chance to send you some mail. So you guys, we love getting mail from you and we love the chance to send mail to you guys. So if you want to be a part of this and maybe have the chance for your mail to be featured right here on a Mail Time segment, you can do so in two different ways. The first way is you can send us an envelope with drawings or a letter, questions, whatever it might be, prayer requests even. And you can do that using our address, 150 Palmerita Avenue, Riverside, California, 92507. And the second way you can send us mail is just by shooting us an email. And you can do that at sandalschurchkids at gmail.com. And we will send you something, a note, some stickers, and some other fun stuff. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. We will see you next time. You guys, that pre-show video was awesome. Next, we're gonna dive into a time of worship together and sing a couple songs. Now, if you've had a little bit of a rough week, this is your time to think about those things that have really bothered you or been hard for you to get through this week and lift it up to God and let Him handle it and just be grateful for everything He's given you this week. All right, guys, let's start singing together.
this world instead be changed within by a new way of thinking and you will be able to decide what god wants for you and you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to god and what is What's up, everybody? Today, we're giving you some living sacrifice advice from our story in Romans 12. Welcome to our series, Press Start, where we're building our character so we can become more like Jesus. This week, we'll press start by giving a living sacrifice. We'll tell you all about that in our story because we know that we build a new character when we follow Jesus. Get ready, because we're pressing start in three, two, one. Press start. Let's check out some more of Paul's backstory. In fact, we're taking it all the way back to before Paul became, well, Paul. Before he was Paul, he was actually called Saul. Saul was a Pharisee, which meant he followed what he thought were good rules very, very strictly. He thought that meant that Christians were crazy and that he had to hunt them down and lock them up, hurt, or even kill them just for following Jesus. Then one day, Saul had an amazing encounter with Jesus and was called to change his whole life to follow Jesus. That's when Saul became Paul and went from killing Christians to being one. Talk about a huge change. So today's letter from Paul is to the new Christians in Rome and says, give your life to God. Now, that doesn't just mean part of it or the things that seem the easiest to give to God. It means the whole thing, every second of every day. From when you wake up and brush your teeth, to when you go to soccer practice, to when you do your homework, you gotta ask yourself if you are acting like Jesus. Let God change the way you think instead of copying the way others think. Paul definitely knew what that was like. Paul let God change every thought and everything else about him, even his own name, which is how Saul became Paul. He goes on to say, don't pretend to love others, really love them. Treat everyone, even your enemies, with respect. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do good instead. Obviously, Paul was not the same person he had been as Saul. Just like we aren't the same people after we decide to follow Jesus either. He gave us the Holy Spirit to convict or to know without a doubt how to live the way Jesus did. This is completely different from how everyone else lives. It's so easy to pretend to love others for what they can give us or return meanness with more meanness. That's what everyone does but not followers of Christ. Our character or the kind of person we really are should look so different from other people that they ask us why we live the way we do. The one thing to remember is that I build a new character when I follow Jesus. Building a new character is kind of like this oobleck. It starts off as one thing, a solid, and it has certain characteristics or things about it 
that always stay the same. I can punch it, I can walk on it, or I can even make it into a ball. But just like this oobleck changes its character when I put less pressure onto it, we change our character when we decide to follow Jesus. Jesus asks us to build a new character by living our whole life for Jesus. Paul called it being a living sacrifice. A sacrifice is offering up something that is precious or important to you and giving it to God. Jesus, the perfect sacrifice, gave everything by dying for us. He actually gave up his own life so that we could have a friendship with God. But because of Jesus, we don't have to die. We get to be living sacrifices. That means living every minute of every day for Jesus. But how do you do that? Well, it could be giving up something you want so that someone else can have it, or maybe being kind when it's hard and you just don't feel like it, or maybe it's praying constantly when you're worried or scared. Let's press start by being living sacrifices. We just talked about a time when Paul's heart changed, his whole behavior changed. He became a living sacrifice to God. I wanna tell you about a time when I planned a party with fun activities and I was so excited and no one showed up. I had spent so much time to plan a birthday party for myself. I had gotten food, I had gotten decorations, activities, and I wanted about 25 to 30 people to come. I had invited them all. I sent out the invitations, I reminded them through text. I was so excited when the day came and then they didn't show up. I have to be honest, I was upset. You can imagine no one showing up to your birthday party, you don't get your friends, you don't get the activities. I was so disappointed. I wanted to share this birthday with everyone and they just didn't come. And so that hurt me, it hurt my heart. And I wanted to be mad at them. I wanted to get revenge on them. I wanted to not go to their birthday party. But then I had to remember that I have Jesus in my heart and because I have Jesus in my heart, I have to think like he does. And so maybe somebody was sick. Maybe their car broke down. Maybe they didn't get my invitation. Whatever the reason was, I have to remember to think like Jesus and to give them grace. So just like Paul, when his heart changed, his behavior changed. I had to change my behavior. I was all up in my head about why people didn't show up. I was so upset. But I had to realize that maybe they were sick. Maybe they didn't get the invitation in the mail. Maybe their car broke down. Maybe they had a family emergency. Instead of getting revenge, I needed to not make up a story in my head, but focus on the truth and how Jesus would respond. So because my behavior changed, I just enjoyed the people that did come to the party. I wasn't worried about who wasn't there. And I wanna remind you that if you're not chosen on the playground, or if your sibling is being mean to you, you too can choose to think the way God thinks. Become a living sacrifice and choose His way. Paul knew all about what it meant to be a living sacrifice or giving everything you have to God. He changed his whole life by giving it up for something new and way, way better, following Jesus. We can build our new character by living like Jesus. We get to be kind to everyone, even our enemies. We work on really loving others, and we focus on God more than anything else. Remember, I build a new character when I follow Jesus.
You guys, I have had so much fun with you today. And if you wanna stay connected with us, you can. Just head to Instagram and search at Sandals Kids. On there, you're gonna get sneak peeks, fun behind the scenes, and get information about upcoming series. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you next time.